Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Well, it's that time of month where Spellbinders comes out with a brand new card kit of the month. And this month it's called Sincerely Yours. This kit is for April 2021 and we're going to take a peek at everything in the kit. And then following this video, um, I'll do my 10 cards one kit. Just click on the end and it'll take you right to that video. But this is a content sheet and an inspirational project guide that is included with your kit. Kind of gives you an idea on how to use the dies in this month's kit. And then there's some inspirational projects on the front along with the contents. Lots of goodies in this month's card kit. Um, and so we're going to jump in and take a look. Starting off with the cardstock, you get a 8.5 by 11 sheet of the gold mirror cardstock. It's double sided and it die cuts beautifully, guys. You get two sheets of blue cardstock. All of these are 8.5 by 11. You get light blue, dark blue. You get two shades of green, um, kind of a rich green and a, a hunter green. You get two shades of pink, a soft and a bold and you also get a bright yellow and then a real pretty lavender so let's see we get eight sheets of color no white this month but that's okay everybody has white um we also get 10 cards and 10 um envelopes these are what i use to create my card bases they're on the lighter weight side and there's a little bit of texture to them but um, it's nice that Spellbinders includes these in the kits, um, kind of all-inclusive kits, which make it really nice. So um, for me, they look a little bit larger than eight and a half by 11 or um, four and a quarter by five and a half, but they are actually a two size. So that makes it fabulous. You get a full size six by six paper pad. There are 40 sheets of pattern paper in here. Some of them have um, gold embossed detail. I like to, trim off the top of my bag, um, save a little Ziploc baggie, <laughs> and store my pattern papers in the bag that came in. But there is some gold embossed detail. These are telephones, which are really cute. Um, Sincerely Yours is the name of the kit, and it's all about um, uh, correspondence, I would say. There are stamps and telephones and lots of goodies in here. This is a real pretty grid paper with that gold detail. But just sharing a quick look, you get two of each pattern in the six by six paper pad. And again, there's 40 sheets. So um, we're gonna be using this on our cards today. Love using pattern papers. That one has some really pretty gold polka dots. I don't know if you can tell, but then the pattern paper just repeats itself. That's the Sincerely Yours six by six paper pad. Okay, we are gonna take a look at the stamp set this month. It's very cute. Stamp set has a coffee mug with some flowers coming out of it, and then lots and lots of sentiments for any lots of occasions. Um, the nice thing about the sentiments is they'll fit inside the coffee mug, so that makes it nice. And there's a little envelope or a, a letter there that you could add detail next to your coffee mug. There's also a little rainbow in separate sections that you could put in your coffee mug or add it as a background to your card projects along with some flowers and hearts that will fit inside your the front of your mug so that is your stamp set next you get some stickers i'm going to put this back in my my plastic otherwise i'll end up tossing it <laughs> we're going to take a look at the stickers they're white stickers now these are puffy but they are not squishy puffy they are um hard puffy if that makes any sense um we're gonna take them out of the package so you don't have to deal with the glare but a lot of fun sentiments be happy smile um hi hello um hey you there's even hearts and flower embellishments and again these are dimensional um puffy but the nice thing is, is if you take them off of the plastic sheet, they don't lose their shape. Sometimes puffy stickers do that because they're so soft. These won't do that, but it'll add dimension. So that's nice. Um, and I like that they're white because they go with just about everything. <laughs> I'm going to put this back. And I don't think I could put it back in the same spot it was, so I removed the, the O and the E inside piece. <laughs> so those are your stickers. Next, we're going to take a look at some dimensional stickers. You get six of them, and there's layers and layers in these. They're so pretty. There's three florals and then three floral frames. Um, the floral frames have sentiments that are um, on acetate that are gold embossed. 
So they're very pretty. You can see the dimension with the foam adhesive here. But I And I always like the little clusters that they create. It makes for a quick and easy um, card. You just peel and stick and add some pattern paper and basically you're good to go. But the sentiments in here are cute too. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. I'm going to put it against some white cardstock, but you can see the sentiments in the center there. And they, again, they're on acetate. So you get six 3D stickers. We're going to slide these back in here. And next we're going to take a look at our die cuts. You get a full pack of die cuts and the, the die cut packs are always fully loaded. And they always coordinate with your pattern paper and your embellishments. I like to take one of my card bases and then we're going to speed up the video real fast and go through all the, the um, ephemera or the die cut pieces. But lots of varieties, lots of sentiments. and. This, there's two of each one. Um, if I show one, chances are there's another one right behind it. So there's two um, two of each die cut pieces. Lots of sentiments, which I like because you can mix and match. And again, everything coordinates with your pattern paper, your embellishments, even your stamp set, guys. Like this rainbow you could reproduce on your coffee mug if you wanted to. <laughs> Um, I love that there's a lot of varieties. There's even uh, paper airplanes would be great for a masculine card. Um, but we're just going to zoom through this. Now the card kits of the month are for, if you're new guys, it is a monthly card kit scrip scrip uh, subscription. Um, shipping is included, at least in the United States, shipping is included um, in the price of the kit. And every month the Spellbinders will um, ship one out to you. Um, I think there is an option if you want to skip a kit you can but um i never have i i've always always loved their kits i think the value that you get with everything in them is just fantastic um but i'll leave the link down below if you guys want to just check it out and do a little bit of browsing every so often they do have extra kits left over um if you want to kind of try it before you buy it um spellbinders has the leftover kits for sale outside of a subscription so that's good to know too, guys. But um, just continue. There's even some tags in here. I don't know how they can fit that big old tag in that little packaging, but I love it. <laughs> I'm going to put all of these back, but those are all the die cuts. And I'll be using some of these for my 10 cards. So fully loaded. Now there's a little bit more to the kit. We're going to put this aside. You get a real pretty bag of sequins. The sequins this month are... Um, a bluish tealish color so pretty and they have a little bit of an iridescent tint to them just slightly but they're very pretty nice and summery you get a bag of those and then you also get your adhesives you get foam adhesive and then you also get double-sided sticky tape last but not least you get some um, dyes I know lots in this kit I think the dyes alone are probably worth the value of the kit um, this month it's so pretty and I think it's one of these die sets that you use over and over again it creates an envelope and then there's some beautiful florals um, in the die set also there's they're like daisies or Gerber daisies that you could layer together if you wanted to um, there's some stems if you want to put them on stems and then there's also some leaf flourishes so you can create beautiful floral arrangements love the shape of these dies you also get single leaves for your stems or not if you don't want to put the stems in there and then some smaller flowers so this is your 11 no 12 die piece so um, I always like to create with the dies during my unboxing it saves me a little bit of time um, because the 10 card video usually runs a little bit long so let's create with the dies and we'll show you what they can do um, the envelope we're gonna take some cardstock too um, I opted for two shades of blue and two shades of pink, but we're going to end up changing that and go for a pastel um, die cut flowers. I like to trim my paper in half. This way I have the option of using that cardstock for a card base later if I wanted to. Um, and then um, I'll take half of it and quarter it. So this way it's easier to run through the die cutting machine. And we'll just trim this down. Okay, these are the colors that I chose, but I'm not going to use the darker blue or darker pink. We're going to switch that up a bit. And then I'm going to bring in some white cardstock to die cut out my envelope. Now, I suggest using a lighter weight cardstock when using it for your envelopes. It just makes it easier to score at the score line. Um, 
I tried it with a heavier weight and um, my paper cracked because it was such a thick cardstock. So a lighter weight would probably work better. So we're going to take all the leaves and in the stem and die cut that out with a darker green cardstock. It's like a, um, a forest green. And then for our daisies, we're going to use the pink and the blue. And I'm going to also die cut out some of the smaller flowers with white cardstock. The smaller ones are nice because you can use your Copic markers to color it in. Here's where I'm bringing my lavender and then some gold too. I'm going to create some gold flourishes with the, the leaf die. So we're going to die cut everything out. I'm going to do two envelopes because I'm going to show you two different options that you that you could create with the envelope. But first we're going to build a flower. Flowers are so easy to create with. The envelopes are very easy to put together too, guys. They're, they're two pieces, but easy peasy. Um, I'm going to take one of my flowers and just put a dot of glue on the stem. When you die cut out the stems, two will die cut out at once, which makes it nice. We'll add our flower and then you add a dot of glue on the stems. The single leaves were, are great for the smaller flowers, but they're also great for the stems of the, the daisies here. We're going to call them daisies, but they could be so many different kinds of flowers. We can add one. Now on the, the smaller leaves here, there is um, etched detail, which is so lovely. And also on the uh, larger leaf flourishes, there's etched detail. Just add so much to your die cuts. You could use the full one if you want, the flourish, but I like the single ones for these ones. Add one more flower. Um, the single leaves have a lefty and a righty, so you could... Um, you can switch them to create nice little leaves on your your stems. We're going to do one more with this real pretty flower with the pink. We'll just add a dot of glue, add our flower. And for the there's enough room in the flower center to add a small foam square. So that's what I did. And believe it or not, the flower centers that you die cut out, there's um, detail in those too. There's little polka dots on these. I kept mine white, but... Um, I couldn't believe you can get little dots this small, but you'll see maybe in the close-ups um, how uh, on my 10 cards in the close-ups, you can see how pretty the dotted detail is. There's even a half flower for a little variation in your florals. I'm going to add our little half center, and I did pop that up as well. Just put one leap on that. And so those are your little larger flowers. And again, you don't have to add the stems if you don't want to. You could add um, the leaves or the larger leaf flourishes. So lots of options in layering and building. The smaller flowers, you could actually layer on your bigger ones if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to turn these into like little daisies. So we're going to add a flower center that's yellow. I'm just using my Copic marker and coloring in the smallest flower center. Adding a dot of glue and then we'll place... Um, our flower center here and there's not a detail on those itty bitty flower centers too it just makes a big difference i love all the details so those are our flowers and flourishes now we're going to build some envelopes and again i, I we're going to create two different kinds to give you guys some options um, on the base of your envelope here there's two embossed lines for our first envelope you're going to go with the um the most inner embossed line we're going to um, score at that. Okay, this envelope we're, cre we're creating now is going to be a regular envelope that's flat, um, but yet if you wanted to add dimension, you could pop it up behind it. But um, you just fold it in again at the very innermost score line. It's going to leave you a thick, um, two thick sides and a thick bottom. I'm going to use my bone folder to reinforce the score lines here. Once these are folded in, you want to make sure that the bottom flap is on the um, on the top. Actually, on the um, fold the bottom in first. Basically, it's going to make it easier. Okay. Now you're going to fold over the flap of your envelope top. This is the top closure of your envelope. There's a score line here, and that's important. You want to go ahead and reinforce that score line right now too. And I would put the pretty side outside because this way you have a pretty closure if you plan on closing it if you plan on keeping it open reverse it but you line up the score line to the edge of your envelope base and then you'll fold in the bottom now there's going to be a little bit of a gap um, between this top piece 
in your base piece. Okay, but that's okay. I'm gonna add glue all the way down on the left and right side. Make sure you go all the way down because you wanna make sure you glue that bottom piece. And then you fold it over on top of that bottom piece and then on the sides of your envelope top closure. And you can see that gap here on the very bottom. Um, don't worry about that, I think it's, it's, it's okay. Okay, if you were to put your envelope closure all the way down, your envelope wouldn't close. The score line would go, um, go an eighth of an inch down inside your envelope, so you wouldn't be able to close it so that you could see that it has that gap. But you're not going to be able to see it. I'm going to grab some cardstock and we're going to slide it in. I suggest if you do fill your envelope with a piece of paper or even some pattern paper, um, create a size that's maybe an eighth or a quarter inch smaller than the width of your envelope. And it's gonna make it easier to pull in and out if you wanna make it interactive like that. Like this is pretty snug and it's stopping at that um, very bottom fold line. If you wanna make it go all the way down to the bottom, just trim off a little bit more off the left and right. Or you can flip it around and, and make it a little bit less wide basically. See, it's, it's grabbing at the very bottom and so you want to make it less snug. This way it would be a lot better. So you have an envelope that opens and closes, but it's flat. So you can see here, if you want to add dimension on the back, that's a good way to do that. Now that's one option. Now the original option, I believe, is how you're supposed to do it. Um, is I believe the way that they showed on the back of your inspirational guide. What you're gonna do is fold it all of the score lines. There's two of them on each side and it's gonna create a U. Well, with the long piece, it'll be technically a J, but you're gonna just fold both score lines and reinforce them with your bone folder. It really does help. And um, I believe the cardstock that I'm using is a Nina cardstock and Spellbinders actually sells um, the Nina in a 25 pack. It's really great stuff. Um, great for their stamping too. But you just fold these in and you're gonna do it on all of the corners. So you're basically creating almost like a little gusset, um, but you're gonna have a backing to glue your, your envelope to your project. I'm gonna open these up and do my last side here and reinforce that with my score line. And then we kind of fold in all of our sides. So we have a backing and we have dimension. And then this, you can see here, it kind of hooks, but it's flat. You could actually put in a little treat. I'm not sure if a gift card would fit in here. That would be really nice. But there's dimension in there to where you could put lots of stuff. And then basically, you just glue it down to your card project. Add glue to the back side, stick it where you want it. And then you can add glue to the back side of your closure you want to score it first and then your envelope it looks beautiful this way also so two different options you have a thicker dimensional envelope that um, you could fill with lots and lots of pretties or you have a flat one too um, you could mail this and I don't think it'd be that much more in shipping because trust me I add a lot of dimension <laughs> but this one's flatter if you guys like the the less dimension option so two different ways to create your envelope. There's actually one more way if you wanna double up on the very bottom envelope, um, you could do that too. But I found these two ways to be the easiest. And then you just fill them with your beautiful florals or anything else. Your pattern papers will be pretty in there too. So um, these are the dies this month. And again, this is the Spellbinders um, April 2021 card kit of the month. Um, called Sincerely Yours, and I am going to have so much fun creating with this kit. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Following this video is my 10 card one kit again. Um, and usually with my 10 cards one kit, I use what I created here. I'll create with um, my very first card. I probably won't use all of them, but I'll use for the most part um, some of the envelopes. Have a lovely day. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.